was a lovely memorial service. And the priest was very eloquent when he talked about Teresa, wasn't he? Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, where are the kids? Um, Pilar took uh, little Ethan and Jane home with her. That's good. Yeah. Don't keep her mind off, Teresa. And Jonathan is with Sheridan. So, maybe we should go? In a, in a minute, okay? She's dead, Ethan. Get over it. I think my favorite part was when <laughs> Lisa and Miguel were talking about her as a child. I would have liked to have known her back then. You know, the grief is going to pass. And it will. It has to. It was a wonderful service. You planned the whole thing. She would have loved it. I could feel her with us during the whole service. Uh, we're going to walk up to the house. Do you guys want to walk up with us? No, we'll, um, we'll, we'll see you up there soon. Okay. Ethan, that was a fine job you did, Teresa Proud. Thank you, Julian. I love the fact that there was no coffin. You know, dead bodies at funerals can be so depressing, don't you think? Come, dear. Perhaps we should be on our way. Okay. Oh, those are nice shoes, Rebecca. What are those, shark skin? Why, yes. Yes, they are. And the purse matches. You know, I don't know why I decided to wear them today. They just kind of uh, spoke to me. <sighs> okay, seriously. Teresa was eaten alive by sharks. Hmm? Oh, funny. Guess I forgot. Oh, really? Well, you want me to be with Ethan, right? So please don't antagonize him. Just ignore her, Ethan, please. I will. And... Mother, I don't know what to do. The pain, it keeps getting stronger every, every minute. Don't dwell on Teresa, darling. Don't. Just try to let your love for Gwen grow. Okay? You know, we should get going. In a minute, okay? You know the service. It didn't. It didn't seem complete without her body there. I wish they would have found it. They didn't find a trace, did they? here and I wish I could tell you are you okay it's just all so sad miss her. I know you do. There's so much sadness in this room. I know, sweetheart. Oh, I'm so sorry there's been so much death since you came to Harmony. It really wasn't always like that. No, actually. Um, why don't you go up to your room and uh, finish reading that book that you liked so much? Now? Yeah, I um, mm -hmm. need to talk to Julian alone for a little while. Okay, Aunt Esme. Let's get out of here. Can't stand all this doom and gloom. That would be rather rude, don't you think? Well, I think we can just mourn Teresa in our own special way. You leave me on Tesme. I can't. Oh, I hate to 
to admit it, but I, for one, feel like dancing. I'm afraid it would cause some talk. Yes, at long last, the bitch, Teresa, is gone. Yes, and now, just like we talked about at the wharf, we have to find a way to keep Gwen and Ethan together forever. Mm, yes. We have to find a way to keep Ethan from even thinking of Teresa. How? I have some ideas. Well, here's to Teresa's demise. Yes. Two sharks everywhere. <laughs> I can face everyone right now. You know, everyone here loves you very much. You know, and I know this is maybe not the best time to bring this up, but Ethan, I do want to make sure we understand each other. What about? About us. Last night you promised that you were going to focus on me and being a family, and I just want to make sure that you are actually going to be able to, to put Teresa behind you. take off. Ethan, I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. We can all get through this together. I'll never forget my sister, and I know you won't either. I won't. Okay, thanks. Talk to you soon. God, I, I really wish we had some place to go to be together right now. There's no place for us to be alone right now. We'll figure it out. <laughs> don't worry. I got plans for you two. But I don't think you're gonna like it. Use you. I'll be back for you later. Bow chicka bow wow. <laughs> but did I finish my drink already? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Huh. Well, uh, listen, come on over here so we can talk, okay? I hope you uh, don't have any plans for later in the day. Why? Because if we're going to keep Ethan from thinking about Teresa, then we have to make sure that Gwen is with him every single minute of the day. I want her only concern now to be thinking of Ethan's happiness. So, we are going to interview Nanny so she doesn't even have to think about the children. Still talking about nannies. Interesting. Champagne and Julian, a perfect combination. Oh, if we're really going to do this, we're going to have sex in a mausoleum. <laughs> just think of it as a celebration of life in the face of death. Or maybe it's just kinky, but it's all I could think about during that boring memorial service. <laughs> <laughs> I won't let you leave me, Aunt Esme. I won't. I really wish we could find a place to be alone together. Mm. It's been so long. Mm. It's been too long. What do we do, babe? I mean, you're working, and my hours at the police department are always at the oddest times. When we do manage to be alone together, something happens. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can't afford hotels right now. And... Oh, you know, 
Some teenagers like to go under the wharf and roll around in the sand. I'm not a teenager, Noah. <laughs> No, you are not a teenager. And what a shame that is. Oh, no, Aunt Paloma. You have much bigger problems than trying to find a hotel. I think it's time I bring a little help in here. Ethan, you know, we're, we're never going to be able to, to fully move on unless, unless you can put Teresa in the past. I mean... You know, why don't you just focus on us and our future and the children? I mean, we deserve to have a, a happy, full life without her memory hovering over us. I'm not just a memory, Gwen. I'm right here. Yes. I'd like to hear the answer to that question, too, Ethan. Yeah. No, they don't eavesdrop. Have you ever considered what your obsession with Teresa does to Gwen? I mean, she was so upset last night that she actually thought that she saw Teresa's face in the mirror. No! Mm-hmm. Your son's obsession with Teresa is causing my daughter to see dead people. Oh, Ethan, honey. I know that she meant the world to you. But keeping her alive this way, it's just not healthy. You have to think about the people around you. It's starting to affect them. Think about what it's going to do to the children. You have to just, you have to try to let her go. For all our sakes. Can you do that, honey, please? Please. Ethan, tell them that you can't let me go. You can't forget about me. You can't. You know, I really don't need either of you telling me how to run my life. I don't. But yes... I will keep my word to Gwen. I, I, I want to put Teresa behind me and concentrate on our future. And I can't ask for more. I just want to tell you that I'm alive, Ethan. I miss you. <sighs> There's nothing like a fresh cup of evil to start the day off right. Mm. <laughs> this is such a bore. We're too old to have to sneak around to find a place to be alone. It's gonna be worth it though, right? Yes. But what do we do? I mean, we're trying to save money for the wedding, for our house, and to spend money on rent on an apartment would be a waste. And plus, I'm old-fashioned. I don't want to move in together until we're married. But not so old-fashioned that we can't still be alone together, right? Where? Your father's house is out, and so is mine. God, this is so frustrating. Yeah, you're telling me. <sighs> it's better than frustrating. You two are in danger, and you don't even know it! Costumes? Uh, yeah, see, we're not the only two who've used this place as a love nest. Oh, good lord. Okay, um, you get to be the skeleton, and I will be the mummy. <laughs> I'm going to need a lot more champagne to go through with oh, this. Oh, <laughs> come on, you're going to make a really cute skeleton. Now, I wasn't very good at biology, so I don't know what all the bones are called, but... You have one bone that interests me very much. <laughs> you hear that? Oh. Huh. I just figured out a place that we can be alone together. Where? Ah, uh, let me just make sure it's still available, and, uh, and then I'll let you know. I just gotta make a few phone calls. Very soon, you and I will have all the alone time we need. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, okay? I'll be right back. You're so mysterious. I know. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> hmm. It looks like it's time for you to strike. man that I love 
is in there committing his life to someone else. How do I stop this? It may take some time, but Gwen, bear with me. I, I will make a good life for you and the children, I promise you. Oh, those dear children. Ivy and I are going to start interviewing nannies today. We want to help the two of you get off to a good start. Yes. We want you to be on a permanent honeymoon where you have nothing to think about but making each other happy. Well, um, I'm not sure that I want to have a nanny. Well, Ethan, I mean, Teresa had nannies. I know, but I think we could take care of the children ourselves. This will ruin all our plans. This is getting good. There won't be a honeymoon for you, Gwen. You know they're just trying to help. I know. I just think a nanny will get in the way, don't you think? Everyone has nannies. I mean, that's who raises the children. Oh, sometimes mothers and fathers do. I want to raise our children ourselves. Ethan, the nanny won't be raising the children. Of course she will. That's what she's there for. No, she won't. She'll simply be there to help Ethan and Gwen. You will make all the decisions. You set the ground rules and let her know that you are the one in charge. Besides, you're going to be working every day. Poor Gwen will be exhausted if she has to take care of an infant and two little children. All right. All right, as long as it's understood that the nanny is just a helper. I want to raise our children together. Oh, well, of course you will. Well, if you'll excuse us, uh, there's some things I want to talk to Gwen about. Okay. See you later. Bye. <sighs> Honestly, Ivy, your son is certifiable. I mean, not have a nanny. Who does that? Only poor people do that. I don't know. He must get it from his father. Mm. <sighs> that was close. Mm. Let's go get comfortable. The nannies are waiting to be interviewed. Oh. Just might work. And if it does, they'll turn their plans upside down. So, um, what did you want to talk about? Future. You haven't changed your mind, have you? Just the opposite. We need to make plans. We need to make plans for us and for our children, and I know it's been hard on you lately, but I've been doing some really hard thinking, and I want you to understand that I'm going to focus on you from now on. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's, I, it's, it might be a rocky road for a while, but I think you and I have a true shot at true happiness. You have no idea how this makes me feel. It's okay. I'm serious. I don't want you ever to think that I don't care about you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if my mother and Ivy can find a good nanny, I can make Ethan forget about Teresa forever. I think perhaps you should let me handle this. I have interviewed many servants in my day. I know exactly what we need. We need good references and a pleasant demeanor and nice manners. Okay, well, we are looking for a nanny for Ethan and Gwen, and I will know the right woman when I see her. Uh, could you send the first one in, please? Hello. Hello. Get out. But I drove all the way up from Boston. I said get out. Next. What kind of nanny is Rebecca looking for? Roberto. Buenos días, Paloma. You scare me. In a good way, I hope. What are you doing down here all by yourself, huh? Uh, 
I should ask you the same question. Aren't you glad to see me? Y yes. Yes. I've missed you. Oh, you'll never guess, Paloma. I am back in harmony. For good. What? <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I'm here to stay. I... I couldn't keep away from you. I want us to pick up right where we left off. But... I, did. I, I, I mean, I heard something back there rustling. Oh, well, don't look. I mean, we're in a mausoleum, after all. There's probably rats and spiders and all sorts of creepy, crawly things. Uh, you don't really want to find out, do you? Maybe not. <laughs> mm, yeah, stay here so I can concentrate on you. Mm. At least they didn't catch me. Hello? No, Alistair, I haven't killed Ethan yet, but I will. Right now, but soon. First, I have some personal business to attend to. I won't let Julian take on Tasmay away from me. He has to die. What the hell do you think you're doing, huh? No, stop! Oh. It's Roberto. Yeah, I know who it is. He's, he's an old friend. Yeah, he's a lot more than an old friend. He's your old boyfriend. Hola, amigo. What are you doing back in Harmony? It wasn't the same out there. I... I always felt like something was missing. So I came back for Paloma. Ah. Well, that ship has sailed, amigo. What are you talking about? Paloma? So, we have a master plan to make, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, what do we both want? Do we want to work? Because, you know, I was making pretty good money before, but so were you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. I, Ethan, there are so many possibilities. I mean, I could stay home, you could work, or, or you could stay home, I could work, we could both work, we could stay in Harmony, we can go to Boston or New York. Oh, well, okay. Boston or New York? No, not a chance. No way. Why? Because I want to stay here. Is it because all your memories of Teresa are here? Okay, I don't understand. You were so rude to that last girl. <sighs> Ivy, would you just follow my lead? Okay. Next. Good afternoon. Hi, get out. What? Are you deaf? The interview is over. Get out. Okay, what is wrong with you? No, the question is, what is wrong with that stupid agency? I don't understand. She was lovely. Well, they all are. They look like Victoria's Secret models. Have you forgotten what happened with Jude Law and the nanny? Oh. I mean, check out the divorcees at the, at the country club. I mean, half of them lost their husbands to the secretary. The other half, to the nanny. We cannot have Ethan's head turned by some gorgeous nanny. That's actually pretty smart. Mm-hmm. And we cannot afford to have Gwen lose Ethan another time. So, this nanny has to be unattractive, ugly, preferably an out-and-out -out troll. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. Mm -hmm. Becca, you're playing right into my hands. You are more beautiful now than you were before I left, Paloma. This is getting really awkward, isn't it? Paloma, don't you have something to say to Roberto? I do. Don't you think he wants to know why I hit him while he was kissing you? Oh. Paloma, what do you need to tell me, Paloma? Paloma? It's so nice to see you. It really is. But, um, 
No, I was a little irritated because um, we're engaged. Engaged? Oh, no. Oh, yes. We're getting married. We're having a double wedding with Kay and Miguel. Oh, isn't that nice? Yes, thank you. I'm sorry I hit you. Aren't you going to congratulate us? Congratulations. That's great news. You must be very happy. Little kumquat. <laughs> Who knew that being with a mummy could be so exciting? You almost sent me to my grave. <laughs> well, you're certainly dressed for it. <laughs> oh, yes. Did you enjoy unwrapping me? Oh, you're so much more exciting than that, that King Tut fellow. Oh, you say the sweetest things. Yes. Uh, it's so good to be out of the house. It's a bore to be on your best behavior when new servants are being interviewed. <laughs> Servants? Hmm. What's... Oh, not that new nanny that Ivy and Rebecca are interviewing. I hope it's hmm. going well. I want them to pick a good one. Hmm. My nanny was central to my world for many years. Oh, we never had much luck with them. When I was growing up, I had a new nanny every month or so. I wonder why. <laughs> yes, I do wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Before Vicky came into my life, I would have said that having a nanny was a good idea, but I'm not so sure anymore. I think parents should raise their own children. Well, but it's also important for children to establish a sense of self away from their parents. It gives them confidence, I mean, you know, which reminds me, shouldn't we be thinking about picking a boarding school for uh, Vicky? Mm. I'm not going anywhere, Julian. But you are. To hell. Look at that girl. She still has feelings for Roberto. My plan is working perfectly, perfectly. We should get going, Paloma. No, no. There's no rush. Roberto, would you like to go with us to get a cup of coffee so we can catch up? Oh, I'm sorry, Paloma. I, I have to go. I'm, I'm looking for apartments, but don't worry, we'll catch up soon. I'll call you as soon as I have a place to live, OK? Okay. I look forward to it. Now, I'm about to give Paloma a friendly kiss on the cheek to say goodbye. Don't hit me, okay? I'll call you. Okay. <clears throat> what? Why didn't you tell Roberto that we were engaged? I did. Yeah, it took you long enough. Is there a reason that you didn't want to? Do you still have feelings for that guy? You really seem to have a bee in your bonnet about boarding school. You really want to send Vicky away that much? You know, I, I, I have nothing against the girl. I mean, she's, I, I just want to do what's, what's best for her. You have to admit she's had some problems. Mm -hmm. I mean, boarding schools help children learn to depend upon themselves. Yeah. I guess I learned some things at boarding school. How to make a perfect martini, how to hotwire a car, how to fake an ID. Well, we certainly can't send Vicky to any of those boarding schools. I just want to do right by her. Especially, you know, given her history, she needs to learn well, to have some sense of independence. I mean, you know, she lost both of her parents. And all her money. Yeah, she has to learn to stand on her own two feet. Why don't you mind your own business, Julian? Paloma, well, why did you hesitate to tell Roberto about our engagement? I didn't. Yes, you did. Are you ashamed of us or something? Come on, Noah, don't be silly. I was just surprised to see him, and then I was shocked when you tried to beat him up. Excuse me for trying to protect you. You still have feelings for that guy, don't you? We'll see about that.
coma. Are you okay? Yes. I'm okay, Noah. I love you. You're the only man for me. I love you too. I'm sorry, I overreacted. And maybe I was a little insecure or something. You didn't have to be so rough with him. Yeah, I didn't know who he was. I thought it was some stranger attacking you. I didn't I didn't know Roberto was back in town. Well, neither did I. I love you. I am so glad to hear that I am the only man for you. It mm. makes me so happy. It's working beautifully. No, my boy, it seems you've got some problems in the love and marriage department. You know, there's nothing really keeping us here in harmony. Gwen, there's my career. <laughs> Ethan, you know any firm in the country would be so happy to have you. Now, listen, be honest with me. Are you sure it's not because your memories of Teresa are here? No, no, of course not. This has nothing to do with Teresa. There are plenty of reasons to stay in harmony. Okay, like what? Like family. I want little Ethan and Jane to be around their grandparents and, and around Luis and Miguel and Paloma. Really? Yes, really. And, I mean, then there's Maria and Marty, okay? I want them to be around their cousins. I think it's important for children to grow up around their extended family. Next! <gasps> oh. I'm, I'm sorry. Really, sorry. Just to <laughs> startled us, that's all. So what's going on? Do you find a place where we can be alone? Oh, uh, yeah. I talked to Tabitha, and she's actually renting a room in her house, and it's still available, and it's relatively cheap, and so, you know, you can live there until we get married. I like that. Yeah. Tabitha's house. Nothing good can happen to you there. sure if sending Vicky to boarding school is such a good idea. I mean, I don't know how she'll warm to the idea. You got that right. But children are, are quite adept. Well, she's not exactly a child anymore, and I think she might need more time with me. You know, her whole world's been turned upside down, and she lost everyone. She needs to know that somebody's looking out for her. What she knows that. I mean, she has to learn to you know, stand on her own two feet. It's mm. a, Besides, with her away at boarding school, you'll have more time for me. Our sex games will be much more elaborate than yeah. your undivided attention. <laughs> well, you've got a good point there. Huh? Oh. <sighs> the chest bone's connected to the stomach bone. The stomach bone's connected to the... Oh, yes! Montez <laughs> <laughs> May's mine. You don't oh. touch her. You have to die, Julian. I can't believe we'll finally have a place to be alone together. I know, I can't wait. Who's in the shower? It must be Miguel. You should tell him you're going to be his new housemate. I hope he likes the idea. Definitely not Miguel in the shower. This house is just full of surprises. Alistair, I will get Ethan, but right now I'm in the middle of something. Stop calling me or the next time I'll kill you. Don't worry, I won't fail. Oh, 
Miguel finished his shower. Hey, Miguel, come in here. We have a surprise for you. <laughs> I think the surprise is on you. <laughs> Hello again. Ethan, I love you. I love you so much, and we're going to be very, very happy together. Yes, we will. You, me, Jane, and little Ethan, that is a big, awesome family. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm so glad that you are finally going to be able to put Teresa behind you. <laughs> I will do it, and I will do it for us. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm Mrs. Winthrop, and this is Mrs. Hotchkiss, and, um, where do you come from? Under a rock. Shh. What I meant was, um, do you have a, a, a degree from college, or what's your background? Do you have any experience in teaching children, any training? Oh, Ivy, please, what kind of training do you need to change dirty diapers? Would you just let me handle this? Any questions? I mean, <laughs> look at her. She's perfect. Does that mean I have a job? There's nothing like a nice hot shower after traveling to get the kinks out, eh? What are you doing? I didn't think I'd see you again so quick. I said, what are you doing here? Well, I told you I was looking for a place to live, no? Me too. <laughs> this is my new room. Really? Tabitha rented me a room too. I'm actually right next door to you. Bow, get the bow, wow! Send me away to boarding school, will you? And you have made me so happy, and I promise you, I'm going to do everything in my power to make you happy. You're not going to have to try that hard, because you are a wonderful mother. We've always been good together, and we're going to be busy with those children. I mean, we're going to find a lot of happiness in them. And in each other. Yes. And we're going to live out the life that we've always intended to. All five of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Ethan. The children are going to be with the nanny, and you are going to be all mine. Well, I hope you'll be very happy here. Does that mean that I have the job? I mean, you, you didn't even interview me. <laughs> well, just one look and well, we knew you were perfect. <laughs> so, what do you say, Ivy? Does she have the job? Welcome aboard, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> 